Ah, uh, this could be the final walk to the Super Damon. Could, could you imagine? Yeah, I don't think I can. It's Why pretty not? much like against our policy. Really? What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Daily Different Exotics. Yo! We're on the uh, we're on the coffee train. You see, Dave and I, Dave and I got this Supra and it was so late in the game that we were kind of a little bit behind the eight ball and we were kind of debating on whether or not to even keep it. Right. I mean, we got it and we we're kind of like, is it too late? Is there any point in doing this? Everybody else is doing stuff like this. We don't want to be the same as everybody else. So we are trying to figure out how to separate ourselves from obviously the rest of the super gang online. In the meantime, we contemplated selling the car. Yeah. What is the quickest, fastest way to sell a car? Take it back to the dealership that we just bought it from, which they don't want it back because we've already modified it. So bit. it's now got an upgraded turbo. And a tune. And a tune. But for the most part, it looks stock. It looks exact. Yeah, it looks the same. I've seen these videos before on the internet where people take cars to CarMax. What if we took it to CarMax and they legitimately, because we bought it under MSRP, offered us more money? We could make money. Would you take it? How? We could make money like that. We made that. $1,000, gone. So if we can make anything over what we paid for, we're gonna sell the Super today. Well, we have money into parts. We have to talk about that though. Do we take a loss on that or do we calculate what we spent on the car what we're into it for? What we're into it for. Okay. So we're, we got five grand into it. I'd say five grand. So we need to get 54. 54,000 So if you offer 54,000 and a penny, the car's gone. Let's go to CarMax. Let's go. Uh, this could be the final walk to the Super, Damon. Could, could you imagine? We literally still have the window sticker when we bought it. <laughs> We're gonna roll up like this. So imagine, we buy a car, we mod it, all in 48 hours, and then sell it. That would have to be a first. It's gotta be the quickest ownership of any one of these cars. Let's go, let's right, go. You the Supra, I'll drive the Porsche. All right, guys. This might be uh, this might be goodbye to the uh, Supra. We kind of had some fun with it on the channel, but if they offer us more, taking that money, baby. Fifty-four thousand and one penny. Fifty-four one penny. You guys, we can make a penny in forty-eight hours. We put out fifty-four thousand in cash, made a penny return. The title of the That's video. The title of the video is the smallest margin of profit ever made on a Supra. Twenty twenty Supra. Flipping the, flipping the Supra, making one penny. <laughs> Deal. Seriously, we're selling this car because fifty-four thousand one penny. Let's buy another one. Sure. So is it crazy? People walk in here and just are like, I want to sell my car, give me some cash. You're like, can I get a big bag of cash? <laughs> we do it every single day. <laughs> do it like, like actual no, cash? No, 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 not actual cash. I want, I want a big Louis Vuitton bag full of cash. <laughs> you can even discount the money It can off be a of, faux bag if it has to be. A faux bag, faux yeah. <laughs> he, he'd know, he buys all the fake stuff hey, on DB. I fly private from now on. <laughs> you can fly private. So this is it right here. Have you had anybody bring a 2020 Super in? Not yet, no, first time. Own this car for a little over 48 hours. That's it. Why are you trying to get rid of it already? Look at this, look at it. It's even got the dealer, it's even got the dealer sticker still on the windshield. Well, to be honest, uh, we have a YouTube channel called Daily Driven Exotics. Okay. And this isn't an exotic car. So instead of being like everybody else on the internet who bought Supras, uh, we're gonna get rid of it and get another supercar. Oh, wow. So I hope you'll give us what we need for it. Okay, All right, we'll, we'll try, do this. We'll try So what, what do you do with this? I've never I'm just done gonna this. stick the cone on top of your vehicle. Okay. 
and then that just lets the buyer know that it needs to be appraised and then I'll go ahead and enter it into the system yeah. and then they'll come out here and test drive it, take a look at it and everything. Can I go on the test drive? Yeah. I don't yeah. See yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You know, when I had a used car dealership, I take the trading keys and they threw it on the roof. So if they wanted to leave, they couldn't until we found the ladder. <laughs> That's like I used. That's awful. Yeah. Here we go. The negotiating deal. Sixty thousand. We'll take it. Let's go. Sixty thousand dollars. He's gonna give it right out of his personal bank account. <laughs> All right, Dave. You all. If we're selling, Instagram. I know you're always checking your Instagram. I need an address. An address. We'll give you that. Do you think you have any exotic cars or supercars on the lot? Because if we if we sell this, maybe we should just trade it across for another supercar. I do need a Ferrari F12. Twelve. F12. Front end rear wheel drive. No, I don't think we have no, that. We'll, we'll look in the inventory after. I'll give you that address. Yes, it is a 2020 Toyota Supra. Supra. M SK5, Whoa. is it called? MK5? Oh, does it have modifications? Does it, is it more valuable if it does? No. No, stock. So, stock. so hold on. Can we, get, can we get, can we, better. can we get that on camera? It is not more valuable with modifications. No. There's a lesson for everybody on the internet who mods a car. You're basically dumping that money down the drain if you ever sell the car with the mods on it. It's just not more valuable, right Dave? You know, I always thought it made it worth more money. The speakers and you cut things up and you avoid the warranty. No? No. My bad? <laughs> like, My bad. like, great example is the Mercia Lago is worth more money if we take that expensive $40,000 dry carbon kit yeah. off of it. Yeah. It's worth more. For right now, that kit, even though it's worth a lot of money and it looks better in, in our opinion, it's actually devaluing the car. I like your shirt, by the way. Thank you. Members only, like, I wish I got one of those. The way car buying should be. Listen, they're gonna ask that I do a ride along. Should we make the, the guy who tests the car turn all the traction control and everything off? I mean, yeah. Probably not. Well, probably shouldn't do that. We told them it's completely stopped. They're like, yeah, not that, they're not that fast. They're 330 horsepower. Hammer on it, you'll feel it. <laughs> Can you imagine he kicks it out? This guy's like, just drifts the whole block. Comes back, he's like, we'll give you 75. Handles amazing. All right, so they're gonna do a walk around. The car is so new because it's a 2020. They're like, and it's stock. <laughs> it's stock. They're not even gonna do a test drive. I'm like, you gotta take it for a test drive. You gotta drive the Supra. Yeah, you gotta drive the Supra. So she's gonna put in a request and see if they're willing to go for a hey, ride now. While we're here, should we sell Danny's GT3 RS? Let's sell Danny's GT3 RS. Yeah. We'll take anything for it. It costs us nothing. <laughs> it costs me nothing. <laughs> Have you guys seen a 2020 Super yet here? I have no. not, no. Do you think we'd be the first people to sell one after buying it for 48 hours only? Oh yeah. <laughs> so they were saying you don't normally do like a test drive if it's if it's so new. Yeah, so this is still under warranty. You only have a thousand miles on it. If it was like modern or something, I would test drive it, but I don't have to drive it. So. I think you should drive it anyhow. You wanna go for a quick ride? Am I allowed to do that? The test drive, the test drive. See you in a minute. What's your name? Mason. Mason, what is the fanciest like exotic or sports car you've ever had come into this specific dealership? So I did my first exotic last week and it was a 458. Really? Or I had a, I did Tanner Fox's GTR too. Oh, right, right. And then I did- Guaxilla. An R8. So you do get supercars? Rarely, yeah. I've been here for a year now. And those are, I got the 458 last week and that was awesome. So what color was it? It was black, black on black. Dude, he's had a 458 come in here. We'll just trade him straight across. In general, I, I didn't get on like the GTR or anything like that out of like respect for him, but oh yeah. Really when we turn this corner, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to like, get into the throttle a little bit. All right, Mason, let's feel this thing. <laughs> okay, well we're waiting for the light. We all want to know. The internet wants to know. What is your dream car? Right uh, now, it is an Aventador, specifically an Aventador SV. Roadster or a coupe? Coupe. Coupe? Yeah. Hardtop guy. Yeah. Dave's not one for the roofless either. Yeah, I actually I, like both. I think it looks more aggressive, but yeah. I mean, it's still an event store. No race car so. has a roof <laughs> missing, right? Race cars are always coupe, well, so. It could be the first. <laughs> yeah, the first race Your car. Channel's the first in a lot of things, so. Hey, thanks. I haven't seen a big turbo uh, super yet. Okay, let's get on it. Let's feel this thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. <laughs> 
Oh, don't worry. That's just a suspension <laughs> warning that it freaks out when you're like, do like oh, gotcha. when DD's already driven it for 48 hours. I can imagine. We've already made a few bells and whistles go off with like warning lights in here. We've had check engine light that we've already deleted once. Okay, hammer it again. Oh, that concludes your first test drive of a tuned, upgraded turbo and downpipe Super 2020. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. I really enjoyed it. Would this be a car that you'd recommend to the audience to buy if someone was in the upper, like in a position to go buy this car and do those three mods? That, by the way, those three mods were all under five thousand bucks. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. So you could buy the you car for like thinking. what, 50, <laughs> 55 or 57s MSRP, mm -hmm. and then for five more grand, so just over 60. If I had the money, I would do it. Hell yeah! All right, so. let's find out what you'll give us for this thing. <laughs> How was that? It was amazing, man. Good. He, good time? Uh, he actually watched the video of us buying this thing. Just no. Like on the way to work today. That's sick. No, on the way to work today, he was watching the delivery video. We walk in and we're like, oh, let's 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 sell this thing now. Look how big the gas cap on this car. Look at the door. You just noticed? It's huge. It's huge. We locked it. Now it's locked. Oh my god. Oh, my no, it's all good. It's just a big. Oh, it's so a big, big gas cap. Look how big it is. <laughs> no. Okay, let's get some money. Let's make some money. Yeah. We need more Fitbits. Um, it might take a little while for them to put some money on it. I don't put the money on it. It's got to be sent out to somebody to put the money on it. Okay. But usually these can take more than like 20 or 30 minutes. So that's fine. We got 20 or 30 minutes. Right, cool. If we make 10 grand off this car, we got 20 minutes. Yeah, we'll give you an hour if you give us 70. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the keys and I'll put them in there. And then All right, they should so we can hang wherever you guys got like a bar or something? Beers? Um, cocktails? Cocktails? No, cocktails? I don't think so, not at all. Oh, this we is good. Coffee, coffee, I'll take coffee. <laughs> what coffee? Let's get it. let me get some coffee here, Dave. <laughs> Hold on. Got some camera in there? Hold on. Is it right here? <laughs> Sit down, Dave. We got Sam. All right, Sam. Bags of cash. <laughs> look, look at him. He's stressing. No, not me. Where are you? Come on. Have you seen it yet? No. You, just, you just open it up and it's like, ta da! So, where is the Wizard of Oz of Carmax? <laughs> what curtain are we looking right behind? There. Right in there. Yep. Where are these people? Because they're not here. It's an interesting concept because I don't know who went out and looked at it. We'll find out. Okay. Who went and looked at the car? Yeah. Mason. Mason went out and looked at it. Yes. He probably didn't even drive it because it's still he, under warranty. He drove it. He did drive yeah, it? Yeah, it's modified. Oh, okay. It has oh. a couple of brand new mods we did 20 minutes before we brought it here. Those <laughs> 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 business concept. We buy a brand new car, modify them, and then trade them in the next day. Yeah. Make money off. We're going to see if we can do this. You're Damon, right? Yes, correct, sir. 2020 Toyota Supra. Yes, yep. sir. 1,041 miles. Yes. Would it, been, would it have been worth more if it was under a thousand miles? No? Nope. Okay, okay. Sure. As long as it's under warranty, it's pretty much going to hold its own. Yep. Uh, mechanical, no problems. Oh, this is cool. You can no see it's like all OKs. Yep. Exterior, no problems. Yeah. And structural, you don't have any frame damage betrayals. Shouldn't. So it's pretty much showroom We've condition. only jumped it twice. <laughs> and do you have any expectations? <sighs> yes. Dave, what were you hoping for? 70 grand. <laughs> can't even finish that sentence. No, we want to get, we said it earlier in the video. 54,000. And one penny for profit. profit. We need a penny profit. 54,000. 54,000 into it. We bought it for 49,000. We put 5,000 in mods. The suspense is actually we killing me. We need to me. make a penny off this deal. Our investors want to return on their investment, so we're going to make the penny today. Jeez. I'm nervous. I'm Super nervous. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. How much? This car is worth to CarMax. 51,000. 51, We're only 3,000 short. Can we negotiate? And one penny. And one penny. We need a profit. We need 3,000, one penny more. I'm um, not sure if you've been to CarMax before, but we don't negotiate. You don't? Nope. No, so no, that's it. That's a hell of a bargain right we give there. The most money we can up front. 51,000 is the offer. That's pretty good. Now, here's, here's the reality. Had we not modified the car, because the mods don't add any value to they you do guys. Not. Had we not modified the car right now, we could make a two thousand dollar profit over. We bought no, it for forty nine. I got a thousand dollars kickback behind the scenes. You didn't see that. 
Oh, that's nice. We could make $2,000 by bringing a car to CarMax had we bought it for what we bought it for at 49 under MSRP. Yeah. Hey, Sam. Amazing. Me, Do I get any paperwork? Get your, uh, I get a printout? Printout for it and your keys and off you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. That's amazing. That's let's actually really the, impressive. Let's take the mods off and bring it back. Yeah, for this sure. place is cool. That's amazing. You can buy them in Canada, bring them down here, make some money. You guys you can't you guys say end. that on the internet. Why? Because people are getting sued by Toyota. No, the Canada. dealers are getting sued, not us. That's <laughs> their problem in Canada. How crazy is that though? Because real realistically, had we not modified the car, we would have made money. We would have made two thousand dollars. Right there. Boom. Proof. What are we doing now? More mods? Let's yeah. lose, let's lose some more money. We can't sell it. We're stuck with it now, you guys. We're stuck with the car. Might as well modify it some more. Smash the subscribe button. Throw us a thumbs up on this video. It was a lot of fun. And, uh, well, we're stuck with the Super for now. We'll see you guys in the next video. ShopDD.com if you're interested in any Daily Driven Exotics merch. Awesome. Awesome. Booyah! Booyah! Next video! Yeah, later. All right, CarMax. Until next time. Oh, my God.